everyone. Thank you for joining me today for our phonemic awareness. It is called Hegarty, and when we've done this in the classroom, we've sat up front by the rocking chair, we've done this as a group, you're following along, you're echoing me, you're doing the same hand motions as me. Everything we do, we do together. I know we've only had a couple of times of practicing this because you've only been to school a handful of times, but try your best follow along, and most importantly, let's make sure we are listening to what we're supposed to be doing. Great. As for an adult who might be helping you with this, if you need to pause the video at any time, rewind it for a section that your student may be struggling with, that's perfectly okay. Again, this is something that we do whole group, even though it's a small group, together, and we are always echoing what the teacher is doing. So let's get started. Our first part is rhyming. And for this section, you are just supposed to repeat after me. And if the two words rhyme, give it a thumbs up. And if they do not rhyme, just give them a thumbs down. All right, so you're repeating me or echoing me. Here we go. Map, tap, your turn. Do those rhyme? Good, you should have given it a thumbs up. Okay, echo me, wig, big. Do they rhyme? Good. Yes, me. Do those rhyme? Make sure you're echoing me too. Good job. No, they do not rhyme. Fun, sun. Do those rhyme? Yes, they do. Good job. Day, say. Echo me. Good. Do they rhyme? Perfect. Hot, not. Do those rhyme? They sure do. And our last one, make sure you're echoing to before you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, is C2. Do those rhyme? No, those do not rhyme. Great job. Okay, you're going to echo me, and then we're going to isolate the beginning sound or the onset of the word. So, if my, or my example would be zero, you echo me. And then tell us what is the beginning sound, the onset in zero. So our answer would be z. It's the very first sound we hear when we echo the word. Okay, let's keep going. Echo me, bump. What's that first sound you hear? B, b, b. Very good. Okay, echo me, neck. What's the first sound you hear in neck? Mmm, good job. Okay, echo me, gum. Good, what's the first sound we hear in gum? G, 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 good. Okay, last one, echo, lost. Good. What's the first sound you hear? Oh, good job. Okay, now here is where we have hand motions that you have to echo me with. So we are gonna take our two words and we're gonna blend them together. So we'll say a word, say a word, clap them together. Our example would be door, bell, doorbell. And now you echo me. Good, okay? So here we go. You just have to repeat after me with everything that you see and hear. Okay. Water, fall, waterfall. Your turn. Good, okay. Foot, print, footprint. Your turn. Good. Wish, bone, wishbone. Your turn. Good. Door, stop, door stop. Good. Bird, house, bird house. Great. Finger, paint, finger paint. Good. Rain, storm, rainstorm. Hair, brush, hairbrush. Work, book, workbook. Good, last one. 
corn bread. Corn bread. Perfect. Okay, now here's where we are going to punch out the ending sound. Remember, we're going to punch straight up because especially when we're sitting with our friends on the floor, we don't want to be punching people side by side. So we're going to say the word, and at the very end, we punch out that ending sound. So our example would be hid. And so let's say that word together and punch it out as an example. So the word is hid. So we start down here and we go hid. D, d. Good. Okay. Here's our other words, ready? First, let's echo me. Pick, your turn. Okay, let's get ready to punch it out, ready? Pick, good. Okay, echo me. Cuff, your turn. Good, all right, let's start and let's punch out the ending sound, ready? Cuff, good. What letter says F. Very good. Okay, our next one. Echo my word, please. Rag. Your turn. Good. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's punch it out. Rag. G -g -g. Good. Last one. Echo my word. Came. Good. Now let's punch it out. Here we go. Ready? Came. Mm -mm -mm. Good. Perfect job. Okay, we're moving on. Now, we're gonna have our whole word together, our blended word, and we're gonna take it apart. So, if our example is teapot, I'm gonna start with teapot, and we're gonna go teapot. Now this one, you're gonna echo the word, and together we're gonna break it apart, okay? so. Here we go, let's practice. You're gonna echo me, so anyone, your turn. Now let's break it apart, ready? Any, one. Good, okay? Ready, echo me, somewhere. Ready, some, where. Good, okay, here we go, echo me, downhill. Okay, let's break it apart together, ready? Downhill, good, okay. Here's our word, echo me, newspaper. Your turn. Ready, newspaper, good, okay. Grandfather, your turn. Let's say it together, break it apart. Grandfather, good, okay, ready? Applesauce, good. Let's break it apart, applesauce, great. Okay, ready, doorknob, you say it. Good, let's break it apart. Door, knob, perfect, ready? <gasps> Railroad, let's break it apart. Railroad, good. One more, ready? <gasps> Sunglasses, echo me. Let's break it apart, ready? Sunglasses, very good. Okay, now we are going to be adding a word. So, I'm gonna give you the beginning word, the next word, and you have to put them together. So if my word is play, and I am going to add ground, what's my new word? Playground, very good. My word is every, and I'm going to add thing. What's my new word? Everything, very good. Okay, now I have head. Add light, what's my new word? Headlight, very good, okay? Now I have some, add day, what's my new word? Someday, good, last one. We have snow, add flake, what's our new word? Snowflake, very good, okay. Now, I'm gonna give you the word, but I'm gonna take away part of it, and you have to tell me what is left from what I took away. So, our word is some, buddy, take away buddy, what's left? Some, very good. If we have snow, suit, take away suit, what's left? Snow, very good. If we have play, time, take away time, what's left? 
play. Very good. If we have every one, take away one, what's left? Everyone. Very good. And our last one, head, band, take away band, what's left? Head. Good job, kindergarten. Way to go. We're almost done. We have a few more. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a word and I'm going to change one of those words to create a new word. So we have to really, really pay attention. So example would be if we have tea, cup, I'm going to change cup to spoon. What's my new word? It would be tea spoon. So we put it together and it's teaspoon. Okay. So here we go. We can take it slow. You can always pause. You can always redo this part of the video if you have to, okay? Our word is airport, but I'm going to change port to plane. What's my new word? Airplane. Very good. It would have been air. Stayed the same. Plane was the new word. When you put it together, it's airplane. Good. Okay, here it goes. Back yard change yard to pack what's my new word backpack very good because back stayed the same and i changed it to pack so back pack backpack very good okay rain drop change drop to bow what's my new word rainbow very good Okay, everybody, change buddy to one. Now what's the word? Everyone, good. Tea, spoon, change spoon to cup. What's the new word? Teacup, very good. Okay, we're on to our last part. This is where we count the words in our sentence. So when we start writing sentences, we know exactly how many words should be in that sentence, especially when we're thinking about it. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to echo me. I like my friends. Your turn. Now, together, let's count the words in the sentence. Ready? I like my friends. How many words in that sentence? Four. Good job. Okay, echo me. We play together. Your turn. Good. Let's count the words in the sentence. Ready? We play together. What's or how many words in our sentence? Three. Good job, kindergarten. Okay, echo me. Do you like to share? Let's count the words in our sentence now. Ready? Do you like to share? How many words in that sentence? Five, good job. Okay, I say please, echo that. Let's count the words in the sentence, ready? I say please, good job. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have asked you how many words in that sentence? Three. All right, here we go, echoing. Do you like to read books? Let's count the words in the sentence, ready? Do you like to read books? How many words in that sentence? Or, I was going to say question sentence, but it's the same thing. Six. Good job. All right. Last one to echo. I love to play. Your turn. Let's count the words in the sentence. Ready? I love to play. How many words in that sentence? Four. Wonderful job. I look forward to seeing you today when we meet over our virtual meetings. And I hope you have a wonderful day, kindergarten. See you later. Bye.